Hello, wonderful people of God. So we come your way this month with exciting news from the camp of our man of God, Dr. Abel Damina, as he shares insights with us on the knowledge of the scriptures concerning the character of God in salvation. So we want you to stay glued to your screen as we broadcast this every day and do the work of an evangelist for us by sharing this message always. Also, like this message and then comment whatever you learn in the comment section. Thank you. And if you're new here, please don't leave without hitting on that subscribe button and that notification bell. Thank you. Look at Proverbs chapter 13 verse 17. Proverbs, PJ, chapter 13 verse number 17. Proverbs 13, 17. A wicked messenger falleth into mischief, but a faithful ambassador is held. A faithful ambassador is held. Look at Proverbs chapter 20, verse 6. Proverbs 20, verse number 6. Most men will proclaim everyone his own goodness, but a faithful man who can find. But a faithful man who can find. Observe the word imun, E-M-U-N, used in other texts as the word faithful. This speaks of what the generation doesn't have. A forward generation, children in whom there is no faith. They are unfaithful men. Another word used by authors in the Old Testament books of the Bible, translated as faith, is the word emuna. Emuna. M U E M U. Emuna. E M U N A H. Which implies faithfulness. Emuna. Faithfulness. Then the word aman. A M A N. The word aman. Aman was used 108 times in the old testament books of the bible 108 times the word aman a m a n 108 times in the old testament books of the bible it has a stronger application in describing faith it means to stay with a man to stay with it means confirm a man it means affirm confirm affirm stay with and some references of the word faithful you can take it down and study at home numbers 12 7 numbers 12 7 deuteronomy 7 9 deuteronomy 7 9 psalm 31 23 psalm 31 23 Isaiah 49 7. Isaiah 49 7. Now Abraham displays his faith. Abraham went to Mount Moriah to offer Isaac. Genesis chapter 22, verse 1 to 14. You can read at home, but give me Genesis chapter 22, verse 7 and 8. PJ, verse 7 and 8. Read for me. And Isaac spake unto Abraham his father, and said, My father, and he said, Here am I, my son. And he said, Behold the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for a burnt offering? Verse 8. And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went both of them together. God will provide himself a lamb. So it is evident that Abraham was acting by faith in what God had said to him. Abraham was acting by faith in what God had said to him. Question, what did God say to him? Genesis 22, 12. Genesis chapter 22, verse 12, PJ. And he said, Lay not thine hand upon the lad, neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know that thou fearest God, seeing thou hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, from me. Which means that Isaac's scenario was only symbolic. Symbolic. That event was used by Abraham to foreshadow 
the resurrection of Christ. That event was used by Abraham to foreshadow the resurrection of Christ. Notice Abraham's words in Genesis chapter 22 verse 8 and 14. Give me verse 8 and 14, PJ. And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went both of them together. Verse 14. Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh, as it is said to this day, in the mount of the Lord it shall be seen. The word Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Jireh was translated from a compound word in the Hebrew. Yehovah Yireh, that's the way it is in the Hebrew. Yehovah Yireh, if you want to write it, is Y-H-O-V-A-H, Y-I-R-E-H. Jehovah Yireh, which implies Jehovah foresees and provides. Jehovah foresees and provides or makes provision. Jehovah sees ahead of time and provides. Or he sees ahead of time and makes provision. Jehovah Jireh. So that's why Abraham made that statement. God himself will provide a lamb. It explains the word promise. Promise will mean Abraham understood that when God gave him promise of the resurrection, that it was God himself that will provide the lamb for that sacrifice. Please stay with me. Mm -mm. These words from Abraham were prophetic. God was showing Abraham about the future. And Abraham's response was described as faith. That is, God was reaffirming his promise to Abraham. Therefore, Abraham's faith in the promise of God declared him just. Declared him just. So, that, that's why Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4 implies the just will come alive by believing. The just will come alive by believing. So the first right thing to do is to believe God's word. The first right thing any man will ever do on earth is to believe God's word. It's important to note that in the first two instances where the word righteousness was applied in the scriptures was in Genesis chapter 18 verse 19. Read for me PJ. Genesis 18 verse 19. For I know him that he will command his children and his household after him and they shall keep the way of the Lord to do justice and judgment that the Lord may bring upon Abraham that which he had spoken of him. That the Lord... In other words, the statement to do justice implies he will do righteousness. To do justice in that verse 19 of chapter 18 of Genesis. The word he will do righteousness to do justice. So Abraham was declared just before chapter 22 he was declared just in chapter 15 he was called righteous because he believed and accordingly he will do righteousness he will do justice so that is god's view of right living god's view of right living is right believing god's view of right living is right believing abraham believed in chapter 15 and in chapter 18 god said i know him that he will teach his children to do right why will he teach his children to do right because in chapter 15 he believed right so the first right thing a man will do is to believe God's word. 
That's the first right thing a man will do. To believe God's word. Abraham is evident from the way the word said the car was used for Abraham that faith is right doing. Faith is right doing. We are so grateful for having you here on our platform. Kindly hit the subscribe button if you are new here. And also like this message for us. Do well to comment in the comment section because we want to know what you learned and where you're watching us from. Thank you, message community.